Some of the ideas for art videos that I make on YouTube are actually from books, such as the case today. I saw a nice sketch from Richard Briggs. It's a very simple two color ink sketch. It's just black and blue. So today I'm going to attempt this style. This book, by the way, it's 101 Sketching Tips by Stephanie Bauer. The tools I'll be using today are this customized watercolor sketchbook where the sizing has gone bad on the paper, Speedball Super Black India Ink, and Dr. Peach Martin's Bombay India Ink. This color is turquoise, and I will be using my Fude Nip fountain pen as a dip pen. If you want to try this technique, this style, you can download the reference photo from the video description below. This is almost a completed sketch of the black ink portion. So after this, I will be cleaning my fountain pen so that I can use it with the blue ink. I just came back from cleaning my pen. Now, if you are drawing outdoors, it would be more convenient to have two pens, one for each color. So let me just shake and mix this ink first. The sound you're hearing is actually from a ball bearing or two ball bearings that I have dropped into the bottle to help mix the ink. This is the fun and challenging part where I will draw a lot of people. of people if your eye level coincides with their eye level that means everyone's eye level will be at the same level so you see here the eyes of all these people they are at the same level if your eye level coincides with the bottom of the t-shirt then the bottom of the t-shirts for every person in the scene will coincide with your eye level so that's a very quick way to um, draw people of various sizes so i can actually draw another person standing here i just make sure the eye level it's here and the size of this person would look right This is what I have so far. So all the blue is concentrated at the bottom. The balance looks a bit off. So I may want to introduce, let me just draw maybe a fake cafe here and have people just in this building. I've already washed that fountain pen. So let me just use another fountain pen because I don't want to wash that pen again. Maybe I have three stories of restaurants here now maybe i can add some tables here and add some people who are who may be drinking coffee at the tables overlooking the crowd on the streets for the people up here because of perspective we won't be seeing much of their body so just the uh, head and for this fake restaurant right at the top it will just be the heads and the top of the shoulders let's add some people here as well 
The sketch looks better now with bits of blue scattered all over the place. These are all the people on the street. Now the color you can use, well, you can experiment with various colors. You can try brighter, more vibrant colors, or you can try darker, more subdued colors. It's really up to you. In this case here, I have turquoise and this turquoise, it doesn't seem as vibrant compared to those um, bright phthalo colors. It's a bit uh, neutralized here. But it still works. And these are the people on the second floor restaurant. For this sketch, I used blue to draw all the people. So for someone who is looking at your sketch when he or she sees something like this, the person would be able to form some sort of pattern. He or she will be able to recognize that, oh, blue is used to draw people. So all these dots here, all these lines and squiggly lines here, they would represent people as well, just because the person can establish and recognize some sort of pattern. This is a very quick way to sketch. I spent maybe 10 minutes to draw the black lines, another 10 minutes for the blue lines. And this sketchbook, by the way, it's A5 size. So you can try this technique on your own and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.